Welcome back everyone. Um, in today's video, I will be giving you five tips when using Adobe Illustrator with Printify to create print-on-demand t-shirts. Um, if you're new to the channel, this is part of our clothing company series where we are building a clothing brand from the ground up. So I don't know anything about actually starting a clothing brand. Um, if you're looking for more help on details for setting up a Printify store, I will link the video that I watched and used as I was going through this process down in the description below. All right. So the first tip I have for you guys is when you're setting up your artboard for the graphic you want to make for your t-shirt, Printify uses a 4200 point by 4800 point kind of square for their t-shirt design. So that's what you want to do as your artboard as well. So when you start and you make a new document, what you're going to do is go to width and you're going to make this 4200 and then you're going to go to height and make it 4800. All right, there you go. And the reason why you want to do this is because if you're exporting this final graphic as a PNG, it'll already be set up in the perfect size so that when you put it into Printify, it'll come out crispy or like issues rendering as far as the details. Um, and so you can see with mine right here, um, I believe I did this as a 4500 by 4500 square. That still works because it's close enough to the size. But yeah, that is the exact window that you use on Printify. All right, so my second tip is when you are actually rendering your, I mean, making your graphic, you wanna go for something that's not too complex and not too many colors and too many like little areas. As you can see, this is the first graphic I started out with and there's a lot of complexity in these little details. And I was hoping I could just get away with using like an image trace of a picture that I actually took and then just slap that on the back of the t-shirt. And it looks really good in Adobe Illustrator, but when you try and pop this image actually into Printify, it turns out not looking nearly as good. And I'll show you. All right, so here's what the actual render of that looks like in Printify. And as you can see, it just looks like a really blurry, gross picture. It doesn't look anything like the actual design that I made in Adobe Illustrator. And I don't know why, but for some reason, when you try and mix too many colors in Printify, it just kind of loses some of that like original integrity. So while this looks really good in Adobe Illustrator, and it looks kind of like a graphic, like it doesn't look like a picture, in Printify, it just looks like a very grainy, sort of like poor quality picture. And so here's the graphic that I had to do kind of to correct that. And yeah, it's a lot more simple, a lot more like contrasting colors and then not, nothing too complicated. I also made the pier look a little bit bigger in the actual picture because I wanted that to stand out more in the graphic. And I'm not going to lie, going back and changing all of this and sketching over this myself, like doing the graphic using my own vectors, probably took me about seven or eight hours. But I mean, if you want your design to come out right, you might have to put in that extra work. All right, and then my third tip for you guys is when you're exporting this, because you're get, like Printify doesn't take Adobe Illustrator files, you're going to have to export it as a PNG. And to do that, you're going to go to File and then Export, Export As, and then go to PNG, and then let's just say Replace for now. And so it gives you a couple options as far as the resolution of the PNG. You're going to want to go for the highest that your computer can handle. Mine on this current size of artboard could only go 150 and then you're just going to hit OK. <clears throat> All right, so my fourth tip, what, what tip is this? My fourth tip for you guys is when you're in Printify in here, you can go actually go up to preview, click this. And then it'll give you a better idea of what this is actually gonna look like when they print it on a t-shirt. 
And as you can see with this design, I was not happy about how it kind of looked very grainy. It just looked like a picture that someone took and it was poor quality. <clears throat> and then if we go to the render of the finalized t-shirt design that I went with, it just looks a lot more clean. Like you can actually see the different lines and it looks like a graphic instead of looking like a bad picture basically. And my fifth and final tip for you guys is if your design doesn't turn out how you envisioned it in Printify, um, don't be afraid to go back in and put in the time that it takes to adjust it and tweak it so that it comes out the way that you want it to look on a t-shirt. I mean, this would have been really cool if it came out in the exact way that it shows up in Adobe Illustrator, but that just wasn't the case. And so, going back in and redoing all of this by hand took so long. Um, this took me like seven hours, and the first design that I used just using the, um, like the image trace tool on Adobe Illustrator, that took me like 20 minutes. But uh, in my opinion, I'm really happy with how this whole thing turned out, and I think it was worth the time that I spent going back over it and learning how to do this, and now I'm better at Illustrator for it too. So. Basically, just don't let um, your original graphic not showing up how you want deter you from finishing and pursuing how you want the graphic to look. Because there's always something you can do in Illustrator to change it around and to make it come out better as a print. Anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the final t-shirt design and is actually done. And I have it set up through Printify on Etsy as well, so if you guys want to order it and support the design, I will leave a link in the description below. I will leave a link in the description below to the Etsy store. And yeah, we finally made it guys. First t-shirt design done, let's go.